Matt McLean will start the season on the IL. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FPT in 5 on Thursday, March 21st. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White, and let's walk you through the timeline of Matt McLean's injury. He was scratched on Monday night due to shoulder soreness. On Tuesday, the Reds came out. They downplayed the injury. On Wednesday morning, manager David Bell said that, quote, all of the options are on the table, including surgery, after Matt McLean underwent an MRI on his shoulder. The last that we heard is that McLean is going for a second opinion, and he will start the season on the IL. Scott, <laughs> how far down did you lower Matt McLean? Uh, a ways. I, I, he's about 150th overall. He's uh, around 12th, 13th in my second base rankings. And, you know, he has the potential to move a lot further down from there, depending on what the Reds decide. I don't know if I'd actually take him at those points. It probably depends on how deep the league is, how my build's going. Uh, it's just, it's just another case of a, a, a player with a, we, with a really vague injury this spring. We've had a lot of those where we're, we're left wondering what we should do with him. You can add Matt McClain to the mix. And I think part of the reason there's so much that's unclear right now is because it's to his non-throwing shoulder. And so depending on the nature of the shoulder injury, we haven't heard specifically what the injury is, but it's to his left shoulder. Depending on the nature, you could see him playing through that potentially, and maybe that's what the Reds are trying to figure out and why it's like, oh, he could be on the opening day roster, though they've ruled that out, or he could have surgery, you know? A uh, wide range of outcomes there. Um, yeah, I, we're, we're just going to have to wait and see, but I I would not feel comfortable taking Matt McLean as my starting second baseman or shortstop where he's also eligible right now. I think that's fair to say. We've talked a lot about life finding a way for the Cincinnati Reds, Scott, but not like this. You know, Matt. We've gone too far, life. Matt McLean, TJ Friedel starting the season on the IL. Noel V. Marte suspended 80 games. Looks like Jonathan India will play second for the Cincinnati Reds. And roster resource as of now has Mike Ford as the team's DH. They also went out and acquired Santiago Espinal, likely for some infield depth. Let's talk about the Shohei Otani situation, Scott. Never a dull day in the world of baseball, by the way. Shohei Otani's interpreter, Ipe Mizuhara, was fired by the Dodgers after questions surrounding at least $4.5 million in wire transfers sent from Otani's bank account to a bookmaking operation. Multiple sources, including Mizuhara, said that Otani does not gamble and that the funds covered Mizuhara's losses. We're heading into the biggest draft weekend of the year, Scott, what are you doing with Shohei Otani? Well, I, I do think it's we need to flesh this out a little more because that is that is kind of the headline which you laid out there, but it's it's more complicated the whole story because apparently Mizuhara originally said Otani um, gave him money to pay off his gambling debts, and then the next day Mizuhara recanted that and said. Uh, Otani wasn't aware of the situation at all, and Otani's attorneys have said Otani was a victim of a massive theft. And so just the fact that the details have kind of changed here raise a lot of questions that I don't think we have all the answers for yet. So it's 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 a still developing situation. Having said that, uh, by all appearances, Otani's in good standing with the Dodgers and good standing with MLB. Uh, this whole thing could take a very long time to play out. So I don't, I don't think there's, I, I don't think, look, if you, if you hesitate to take him at the end of round one, I understand. It doesn't seem like that's what the majority is doing. I, I, I ran a Twitter poll about this. If you were drafting, if you're planning to draft this weekend, are you going to be scared off from drafting Otani where he normally goes and three to one people said no. So, I, I don't think this is a scenario where Otani falls and falls and you have to decide, ah, am I willing to take him here? If you don't want to take him where he normally goes, don't take him because somebody probably will. Yeah, and uh, I think I've probably been the most aggressive in drafting Otani this offseason. And if he's there at the end of the first round in a 12-team league, I, I would still you know, be happy to take Shohei Otani. Um, but 
yeah, we're, we're still waiting to uh, learn more, I guess, on this situation. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.